Hi there! Today we're going to be doing Song of the Wind, which is the third song in Suzuki Book 1. I'll play it for you first so you can get a sense of what it sounds like, and then we'll talk about any tricky sections, and then I'll show you a close-up of my fingers so you can see what's going on there. Here we go! Okay, so what you're going to want to watch out for in this song is starting down bow. So you're going to be close to your hand, not too close, because then you'll get lots of scratchy noises. So start maybe two or three inches from, from the bottom of your bow, and that's going to be close enough to your frog that you're going to get a nice long down bow. All of the notes are fairly even in this one, except for the end of the lines where we have those half notes. So those are really long, we have to make them feel really long. Really long. Really long. So we have to hold them for their entire length. What I see with a lot of people is they cut them really short, they go... And that's not what's written. We need to hold those notes for their full value. Other than that, what you want to watch for is staying mostly in the middle of your bow and either not using too much bow, but and not using too little bow. We don't want little mice. Because that doesn't sound very good either. We want kind of nice medium-sized bows, except for those really long ones where we want to travel the whole length of our bow. So now I'm going to show you a close-up of my hand so you can watch what's going on and see how my fingers stay over the strings that I need to use and how I'm preparing my fingers before I need them. So with this one, you're going to want to watch one thing in particular. At the beginning, we have to go from an A3 to an E3 really quickly. So there's two ways you can do that. If you try and jump, that takes too long. So what you can do is either rock your finger back and forth from your third tape on the A to the third tape on the E, or you can just flatten your finger across both strings, whichever is easier for you. So that's the easy way to get across from the A string to the E string without having to hop your finger. So I hope you enjoy playing Song of the Wind. If you have any trouble, any questions, any problems that you're having playing it, please leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to get back to you and either address it in the comment section or in a separate video that I can do up for you.